Hi, welcome to One Chat Travel. My name is Jay, and today we're checking in at the Conrad Hotel here in downtown New York City. This property is located in Battery Park, which means you're 30 seconds away walking to the Freedom Tower as well as the One World Trade Center. This property is a Hilton brand, so it's affiliated with the Double Tree by Hilton, the Embassy Suites, the Moto by Hilton, and the Full Service Hilton Hotel. And as usual, I'll give you my unbiased, unfiltered opinions about this property and show you my overall experience as well at this hotel. Let's check in. So this is my room, 818. I booked a deluxe suite, two doubles with a sofa bed here at the Conrad Hotel, downtown New York City. Immediately upon entering the room, you are greeted with the sofa on your left, the smart TV on your right side, as well as the office desk. A little bit forward here, you'll have the toilet on your left, the Nespresso and mini fridge on the right side, as well as the water station. Moving past that, you'll have the huge mirror on your left, and after that, you'll have the big shower space. It's really spacious. I'll show you that in a little bit. It's also separated from the toilet area, and the closet is on your right side. And the last and final part of the room is your bedroom area. In this bedroom, we have two full-size beds, two closets, and a smart TV. I would say now that this is a fairly decent sized hotel room. However, in this property, this is considered a suite. Maybe it's just me, but I was expecting something bigger. I've stayed in properties in Times Square with a similar square space than this, and those are considered standard rooms. Moving back to the living room area now, we have a lounge chair over here, a sofa that turns into a sofa bed over there, I believe that is full size, and the office desk. Branding on point here at the Conrad Hotel, they also give you a water flask to take home with you. This sofa is very comfortable. I've been lounging here for a while now. However, on first glance, you'll actually see stains immediately. Uh, you don't even have to look thoroughly. At first glance, immediately, you'll see the stains. I wish they maintained it nicely because it looks like a very expensive sofa. Moving to the coffee station now, that is your Nespresso machine, and you will have your mini fridge here. I have bad news with this mini fridge. I'll let you guys know in a bit. You also have a separate sink area here, and that's your secondary sink, obviously, and this is your main sink in the bathroom area. That is your ice bucket there beside the sink, and this is now your mini fridge your mini fridge will have all the drinks and nuts and everything else that you see in here they are all for sale if you remove such item in the fridge I think 10 to 15 seconds they will charge you $25 plus tax restocking fee here at the Conrad so basically you cannot use this mini fridge if you are interested in grabbing some items in the mini fridge, these are the prices. If you want cashews, set you back $15. If you want white wine or red wine, it will cost you $45. Take a screenshot of this if you are interested, so at least you know what you can get. This is your Nespresso machine. I do prefer Nespresso machines versus Keurigs. Uh, overall, I think it tastes better. On top of the Nespresso machine is your Roshan or R Ocean or Roshan. This is how you get your water. It's pretty cool. I really like it. They don't give you two water bottles here. They give you Roshan. I appreciate that they give you real glasses here. There's no plastic cups here. It's just all real glasses. Underneath the sink here is where your safe is located. Across the coffee station here, you will find the toilet area. This is where you will find the hair dryer. Branding on point there, Conrad. You will have three different sets of towels there, small, medium, large, and all of your bath amenities will be here also, and they provide you with a makeup remover as well. I must say both mirrors here have great lighting. Moving into the shower area now, you have a big mirror over here, it's floor ceiling almost, and this is your big shower space. This is me for reference. Moving back to the bedroom now, let's look at the first closet. Good size closet space here. Uh, they have hangers here ready for you. And that is your sheets if you want to make the sofa bed. You can most likely fit a medium or a large suitcase there, one. And over here, they provide you with uh, hotel slippers. Branding always on point here, Conrad, New York, downtown. I will definitely bring this back home with me. 
Moving into the secondary closet here, let's see what we have. Here is where you'll see your iron and ironing board. They also have an umbrella here just in case you need it. And you have two bathrobes here at the bed area now. They don't have bedside tables in both ends, only in the middle. Let's check that out right now. You have two USB chargers here, one USB-C and two American outlets. You also have two USB outlets here in the alarm clock. This is your secondary phone. The first phone is in the office desk. There is one of these as well in the office desk. I thought it was a Bible. It's actually a notepad. All right, so that is the whole hotel room. It is pretty spacious. It is a Conrad suite after all. Now it's time to check the bed. I have eight total pillows here in this hotel room. It is pretty consistent. I have a hard pillow and a soft pillow, uh, both on each side. We have three layers of protection here. One is a mattress cover, the mattress protector, and the fitted sheet. And after checking thoroughly, the mattress cover, which covers the top, bottom, and all the sides of the mattress, is clean. They also have the duvet on top of the flat sheet. So which means the sheet that touches the body is always washed and always clean. Now that we're sure that we're sleeping in a clean bed tonight, now it's time to test the bed. <sighs> it's a medium fur mattress. I guess we'll be sleeping well tonight. So far so good, the hotel room is really spacious. You have a lot of amenities in this room. I just hope we are able to use the mini fridge. Downstairs, they have a bar, a restaurant, and a gym. Let's check those out right now. Hey there, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. It does help us a lot and it's free. This is the view of the lobby area from the eighth floor. They have nice wooden panels here in the waiting area. We are on the second floor of the hotel now. This is where the lobby is located. This is the fitness center of the hotel. They have free weights, ellipticals, two Peloton bikes and treadmills. They provide you with cold towels, disposable earbuds and water here. This is the front desk of the Conrad Hotel. This is where you do your check-ins and check-outs. I've decided to go to Atrio Bar and Restaurant for some drinks to cap off the night. Here's some of their wine collection. This is their open kitchen. And I got a couple of beers here before heading up to my room. The total was $38.66. Okay, so let's see how the shower works. Whoa, water pressure is great. What's that about though? Maybe they need to repaint that. Just packing up here. Let's see what they have for breakfast. So I can also have my breakfast inside the room. The continental breakfast is $25 and $38 for the full American breakfast. Over at the bridge here, you actually have a view of New Jersey. Across the Hudson River there is Jersey City. I really like the design of these wood panels here at the Conrad. These are the things I would like to have in my own home. They also have a rooftop bar here at the Conrad. Unfortunately, it is closed for the season. I mistakenly took the elevator to the first floor, so we're going to take the escalator back to the second floor where the lobby area and the restaurant is located. We are back at the HR restaurant again. This turns into the breakfast area in the morning. I've decided to get the full American breakfast here at the HR restaurant. I'm seated at the bar again like last night. This whole thing is the bar and the restaurant. 
The price for the full American breakfast is $49.37, tax included. These eggs are really good. This is not part of the hotel. This is actually a cinema called Regal Battery Park. That's the lobby area again. Outside the hotel now, let's find out if we can see the Freedom Tower from here. There it is, it's just right outside the hotel. Let's walk around the hotel and see what they have in the surrounding area. Beside the hotel, they have Friedman's. They have a good brunch menu here. Harry's Italian is here as well. And right around the corner here, we have Shake Shack. Let's go to the other side of the hotel. That is Brookfield Place. This is a shopping center. They have great restaurants here also. Let's take a closer look of the Freedom Tower. This is Blue Smoke. They have homestyle barbecue ribs here. Next to it is Elvez. They serve modern takes of Mexican food here. And across the street from the hotel, we have Parm. They serve Italian American classics. Good morning. Breakfast was good. I had a uh, scrambled eggs with uh, spinach and mushrooms. It was excellent. What can I say about the Conrad Hotel? Uh, it, it looks pretty brand new. It seems and it looks pretty brand new. Uh, from the lobby, from the restaurant, from the rooms and the hallways, everything is very clean. For a five-star hotel though, you would think that they would have such amenities like a spa, a pool, a rooftop, and everything else. In this property, they have a rooftop, but it's closed right now. It's seasonal. They don't have a spa or a pool, which you'd think would be standard in a five-star hotel. I would give this hotel a four a four out of five star hotel review. Maybe in the future, when they incorporate a spa or maybe open a pool or open the rooftop year round, maybe we can push it forward to a five star hotel rating. My overall experience here though has been great so far. The hotel room itself, it is quite pricey. However, I did enjoy my stay. I stayed more in the hotel room versus going out. Now, will I stay here again or will I recommend this place to my family and friends or to you watching? The answer to both of those questions is a yes. Obviously, these are all budget permitting. If you're able to afford this place in your travels here in NYC, go for it. Everything that you see here from the decoration, from the furniture, from the lobby area and the restaurants, it's almost at par to a five-star hotel. So the total room rate for this hotel room is $716.78. Here's a breakdown of the taxes and fees. This doesn't include my bill from the restaurant. They authorize my card $125. This will go back to my American Express two to five business days after I check out today. The Conrad Hotel does not have any resort, amenity, or destination fee. Will you stay at this property in your future travels here in New York City? If you do like that video from the Conrad Hotel here in downtown New York City, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. It does help us a lot. If you have any questions regarding the property, please comment down below as well so we can answer them as soon as we can. Thank you again for watching. This is One Chat Travel and have a great day.